Welcome back to the Unsolved Mysteries with Paul and Mabulai. And today's show, we're going to go back in time in the 1800s. Oh, oh, we're Jack the Ripper attacked. So why was Jack the Ripper never caught? Was there any suspects? Who were the victims? We'll find out shortly after the break. This small massacre was placed in the White Chap the small town called Whitechapel in the east end of London, and was described by one author, a breeding ground for criminals, prostitutes, and layabouts, in claiming that there are criminals roaming around the streets. The dim street lights and the thin streets wasn't very difficult to get them there to get away with murder. Jack the Ripper might have carried out these murders throughout the anger or even shut down small businesses. Even present detectives are unsure why they attacked, attacked certain people and which were the ladies in the nice. Most of East, and East London of population was employed as factory work, with little earnings and harsh conditions, forcing women to prostitution as means of survival. Cut. We were able to get a Japanese ripperologist to give us an idea of what happened to Polly Ann Nichols, the first victim. Officially, Jack the Ripper is created with five murders in the period of ten weeks. In the Whitechapel area during 1888, some reports estimate as many as nine murders around the period of time that could have contributed to him. The serial killer spree began on August 31, 1888, with the murder of the middle-aged prostitute named Mary Ann Nichols. This would have soon became the trademark of the Ripper. In Polly's case, her abdomen was also slashed and she had been stabbed twice in the genitals. There has been five teeth missing, a slight laceration of the tongue, and a bruise among the lower jaw and might have been caused by a blow from a fist or a pressure from the thumb. Another bruise might have been inflicted by a pressure of the fingers. There was also a four-inch section by the neck, in the inch below the jaw. This vicious killing frightened Whitechapel because the killer was modified as a Jewish Jew group. At the time, German and Russian Jews were traveling into the east end of London. They were the one of the largest groups of suspects. Today's technology, it's easy to find criminals with fingerprints and DNA and so forth. But it was different back then. The police was unpopular because the town people was told by the media the police was lazy and unhelpful. Though it wasn't their fault. It was a lack of techniques the police had, such as the police, had, the police department had rivalry, such as Scotland Yard and the Metropolitan Police. In addition, the police immediately cleaned up the crime scene cleaning the evidence. Something else, the townspeople walked among the, cr the location, and all we know is Jack the Ripper could be walking among the crowd. There has been past attempts to identify the man who supposedly terrorized London in the late 19th century, and the suspects may c occur to be Vincent van Gogh, the writer Lewis Carroll, and even relatives of Queen Victoria. But retired homicide detective Trevor Marriott says other... After 11 years of investigation, he believes a German sailor, Carl Fagenborn, committed an unknown number of murders. Sailor whose ships in docked near the neighborhood where many of the unknown, unsolved murders occurred. According to police results, he was able to come in, in and out of the town and leave immediately with his chosen ship. But Carl Fagenborn wasn't suspected for murders of five women. He also murdered more women claiming to his lawyer this, this passion, passion manifests. manifests itself in a desire to kill and mutilate every woman who falls in my way i am unable to control myself another suspect that could have been that could have been could be walker sickler an artist who worked for queen victoria he had been suspect for jack the ripper as he was interested in murders and created multiple paintings about this event such as, he was able to create a full-on painting of Jack the Ripper's bedroom. There were some consequences with Jack the Ripper killings, and the most important, I feel, is the Russian and German Jews flooded the east end of London. This is the most important consequence, because the Jews were targeted as the crime, at the crime of the scene. From graffiti, they may or may not have done. The only thing is that the other Jews were Jews were targeted and most Jews were moved to the East End. Another consequence is that were pro protesters in Taftgar Square and was well known for Bloody Sunday, giving awareness to the, to the killings of Jack the Ripper, scaring the townspeople and losing the trust of policemen. 
because they didn't have the, no clue who the killer was.